Hi guys, I'm back. I um, uh, thought I'd make a quick video before you guys wake up, or well, most of you guys, and uh, find nothing there. I know how that disappoints you. So um, I've had a lot of questions about varnishing, and let me close the door. So I've had a lot of questions about varnish and how to seal uh, the paintings. So I thought I'd take you guys through it and keep you up to date about stuff that's going on. So here are still um, the donors and the people that keep this channel afloat. So everyone, please thank these people for making these videos possible. I'm in a good mood. You know why? Because remember this one sort of gave up this um, way. Oh, now it's doing it again. Uh, no, only one time. Because the um, ignition thing is uh, broken. And I can't blame it because there's so much paint um, in there. Like, now it'll do it, I think. Yeah. But then once I turn it off, see, I can't press it anymore. So it, it, it broke. But I can always use this as a sort of a reserve one. If anything fails, I can always use this. But it's going on the shelf for... Well, for times that I don't have anything else. So in its place, I bought a new one. There it is. See, that's normally on there. Chef's torch. But I couldn't show you guys that because that's what the other one looks like. It's totally covered in paint. So this is what it looks like. Brand new out of the box. And that's where you fill it on the bottom here. And... The easy thing is, you see here is the ignition. The easy thing is, uh, you just turn it, you hear the gas, then press it. That's it. And then when you turn it off again, you close off the gas, that's it. And to be on the safe side, ta -da! <laughs> I got a red one too. You know, over here, they're not that expensive. It's eight euros, 95, and uh, a can of gas is uh, one euro. So they're not that expensive. And you, you can't really be without one. It just doesn't work. You really need one of these torches. Um, they're called chef torches. You can buy them at Bed Bath & Beyond, I've heard. And the Home Depot has them. So, um, you know, everyone can get one of these. I had someone in South Africa saying, no, there's no way they don't have those things over here. And it took me like three minutes to Google it and bingo. I could like get 10, 10 different uh, types. So this is the, the very cheapest because you can see on the bottom, it's uh, made in China and um, they they go up the more quality they have and the easier uh, you you can turn them on and off and all that kind of stuff and they even have them with the uh, valves safety valves if you get all those you know side things then they get more expensive but this is 895 so i'm happy with that then i got my big order i got two new bottles of Liquid exporting medium. So I'm set. I don't know about you guys, but it's beginning to be uh, real difficult to get these uh, suckers. But I got two, and I'm pretty happy. And then, look at this. This is some badass canvas. You know, this is just, um, this is it. This is beautiful. You have those little uh, little pegs that go in the in the back, and look how how broad the 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 wooden I don't know how you call them we call them spilaten I don't know how you call these but it is very very broad I'll show you the difference with the other ones see that's the difference so this is top quality they are a, a bit more expensive. But after you've um, uh, experimented and done a lot of stuff, like yeah, right now when I put one on that spinny thing, so I already know what it's going to do, 
and I know it's a keeper so I'll be doing it on these because this is so smooth and if you look at the corners you can see this is quality every single corner is folded to perfection and that's what you want to look for when you buy a canvas it has to be sturdy and I'll show you when, when I open it I'll show you what it, what it sounds like and then take this off okay see how it's like a drum and it's a nice and deep tone that's quality and it's so tight that's beautiful oh I can't wait to start using these and then you get the little pegs for in the uh, in the corners so even if it were to get a little less tight you can hammer these in and then you just tighten it all up so from now on I'm I'm using this I still have a, a couple of um, 20 by 20s that I'll still experiment on but this is the way to go and I um, I'm very thankful for the people that donate because guys you paid for this so thank you then I have other canvases if you're in Holland and you are on a very tight budget this is okay because I really looked into it see this is a um, and I'm talking centimeters this is 24 by 30 and it's sort of like a four size but this one this is okay too because this is this is pretty well done and it has the little pegs too which you can put in the corners to even straighten it or tighten it a little bit more and um, this is an okay canvas the, the small ones 20 by 20 they are a little less quality okay so we have we've talked about that so you know what to look for when you go canvas shopping yesterday I cleaned up my whole studio everything is squeaky clean I'm so happy because I had to uh, brush off like um, I think close to 200 milliliters of paint off my cupboards and I'll show you when uh, when I end this video <coughs> next I am going to be uh, varnishing this it's uh, very tight I made sure it is it was a little wobbly but when you spray the back you spray it with water with one of these little misty bottles uh, I've got one right here see that that's a little misty bottle and you can use an old perfume bottle or something that, that has a screw off top this one you can just screw everything off see that you can fill it with water and for the Australians you can fill it with water and the water sort of penetrates the uh, the canvas on the back side then when you warm it with your um, heat gun or paint stripper or whatever you call it then it tightens everything up so right now it's pretty nice it's tight and if you ever have that problem at home all you do is spray a little on the back and then dry it so everyone these are all tips and you can use them or you can not use them just trying to help along with some of the um, questions I'm getting then I'm putting away my donors and going back to um, this because I had a lot of questions about varnishing and the thing is I had two, two, two things pop up a lot if you can see it you see all a tiny tiny like little little pinholes a lot of people are um, writing me and asking what can I do to avoid the pinholes there's only like a couple of things you can do it's don't stir that fast and, and wild because you're please go away because you're um, you're stirring air into this uh, into the paint and then you get all these little pinholes because what it is it's just um, 
actually just air that has been pushed into uh, the paint and it wants to go to the surface and it wants to get out. I have to go look because maybe someone from work, no, not no one from work. Okay, then I'll turn it down. So you can do, you can mix your paint and you can use the paint a day later because that all the air will be up at, at the surface and will be gone by then. But you can also do your pour then like uh, fifth, after you've really finished and you've walked away, you come back and you torch again and you'll see all these little b uh, bubbles popping. Then walk away again, come back and do it again and you'll still see these little bubbles popping. And that way you can avoid a lot of those bubbles. But to avoid them like 100%, I don't think uh, that's possible, not with um, the pouring uh, art. So it's something that goes with the, with the art and you'll just have to deal with it. So a lot ask me, how do you varnish? Well, I am going to varnish with the stuff I bought two days ago. And you have it in, in every country has this stuff. It's just some, some sort of a varnish. And you can choose the glossy or you can choose the matte. But I'm going for glossy because I like to see glossy on this. Make, this will make the, the darker bits really pop. And how I put it on, that's a question too. Well, it, this is brush on. But what I like to use is one of these. Because it leaves no brush marks and it gives you a nice film and you have them in all types and sizes these little rollers they even have some sort of a turning system inside you can hear it um, you also have these these are a little fluffier but I wouldn't be using these because this one the foamy one these don't leave the marks so what I do is just put it over like that and run my brush into it or my roller. And the thing is that um, you will experience that a lot of this varnish gets sucked into the um, this this foam. And so the good thing to do is um, wait until you get like maybe 10, 10 of these things done. And then you just go and varnish the whole Siri all at once. Now this is the glossy one. And you can see that, um, uh, how do you call it? I'm not sure how you call it in English. When you go over it, you see all these little, little bumpy things. But that's just some, because you don't use enough of this stuff. So do it from left to right and then from top to bottom make sure everything is covered and then I come over it with just one more just to make it a little thicker just like that and what you could do if you're really irritated by the little dots And I shouldn't say dots because they're pinholes. Like where you have the most pinholes, you could really, with a soft brush, push that varnish in there. Just make sure it's in. And the very, very tiniest, they will disappear when you push this in. So most of them are gone now. And the ones that are not affected by this, well, you'll just have to live with it. I'm sorry. It goes with the art. It's just something that can't be avoided. So. Oh, there's something else I found out. Uh, YouTube has a, a whole creator studio. They blur faces for you. I think I told you guys before because it took me three hours to blur faces but they just have it in there in the creator studio 
and you can just you click on a button and it does it all for you. Don't you feel stupid when you find stuff like that out? I do. I feel totally stupid. I'm thinking, oh, three hours wasted when YouTube could have done it for me. Okay, so this is glossy and now the sides, but the sides I just do with a brush. Make sure you go over the side. Okay, and then I'll show you, I'm going to take you guys down in a bit, because I'm going to show you that um, this, this stuff doesn't react with silicone. I don't know why. I wish someone knew. Maybe someone who's watching can tell us why that is. This is water-based uh, varnish. You clean everything uh, with water. So it's water-based varnish, and it just does not react to the silicone. So let me do this, the sides a bit, and then I'll take you guys down and upload this and whatever. Okay, that's nice and smooth. That's what you want. But it's not finished after I've done this, people, because this is just one layer. What you want is uh, at least three layers. I know it's time cons consuming, but you have to do it when you have uh, time on your hands. And put on the TV, put on the radio, do something and make it just into one of these quiet Zen moments. You can have your mind racing all, doing all sorts of stuff, thinking about which groceries you need to buy and all that stuff. but. Let this be a, just a little moment for yourself. And I really like that. I can really get into varnishing. And I think maybe that's the problem that some people have. Because you're not taking enough time. That is perfect. This one is perfect. And like I said yesterday, this varnish, it is uh, not very expensive. But it is uh, guaranteed um, that it will even hold itself up outside. So there's a lot of UV protection, which I really like. So that's it. I've had that one. And um, it's not all that expensive. And that's the part I really like. I'm just going to do one more roll like that. Here we go. Then do it like vertical. And once horizontal. That's it. Now, if you can see, let me put some glare into it, light. You absolutely see that the color is a little bit more intense. That's the thing with sure. But it's not finished yet because it's still going to get two more layers. So right now I'm very happy with how it uh, took to the canvas. And I'm just happy, I guess. And uh, another thing that uh, I got a lot of questions about was if um, Royal Talons or Liquitex is going to sponsor me. And some people had read somewhere that they already refused to. But that's not true. Because um, after I wrote them the uh, email... They responded with, uh, we're going to review your channel, and I don't know what they do. Maybe check me out if I've been naughty online, which I haven't. They will find nothing on there that is linked to me that is naughty or stupid or I don't know. But I don't do that. So they can re review, and uh, I'll give them two weeks, and after two weeks, you know, I'll just uh, email them. Or if you guys want to email, tell them, you know, that you really like the uh, the channel and that you watch the channel all the time. That'd be nice. So it's Royal Talents. You can uh, Google that. And um, uh, Liquitex. Okay, for now, uh, I'm going to be giving you guys a couple of videos today. Because there, I still got all my paint. Let me get you guys down. I'll show you. So, first, uh, oh, that little metal thing that I always put on there. 
Okay, let me show you. Now I've got sticky tape stuck to my gloves. Okay. So there you go. And you can see that the varnish is on there. But with the second and third coat, it gets better and more shinier and smooth. So here's my paint. Got a lot of paint, which I will be showing you guys later in a different video. And that's the birdhouse. Still working on the birdhouse. Let me get you up close. Some cell action. There you go. You know, with the light on it, it's not that nice. But if you, without the light, it's a, it's a pretty nice birdhouse. Okay, yesterday. Here you go. Look at all that paint. That was, that went flying off there. Off the spin thing. You guys, that, that spin thing is a clay modeling turntable. So here you see all the paint. And this one, I don't know why, but this cupboard was covered in it. So I had to brush that off yesterday. But you can see all the, uh, the splatter. And these are all my canvases, all waiting for me to cover them in paint. And I will. Anything else? Oh yeah, I'm showing you a nice and neat little sink. And over here, everything nice and neat. And over there, stuff drying. This is the big one yesterday on the spinny thing. This was, oh, you, you didn't get to see this one. This is one I did with Flutrol. This is the first I did with Flutrol. And it looks pretty cool. It's already sold, so sorry. And then this one I did yesterday, the sea uh, theme thing. Looking cool. And then the little ones, I made a couple of little ones, see that? There's my blue box. Okay, I think you guys got enough. Oh, that's the uh, metallic one. This one's still for sale. If anyone wants this one, um, this is sort of a bronze metallic with blues and in the middle these yellowish, uh, not really yellow, it's more uh, muted, muted yellow. And um, this is a 30 by 30 and there's resin on top and I'm going to be putting on an other resin coat. But if you really look close, look at that, it is pretty. Then here it has the uh, metallic. And if you hold it, if you can see it, and let's see. There's my hand, oh yeah, there. There's a really thin film of uh, metallic over the whole piece. And then metallic is concentrated here and down here. It's really cool. So this one's still up for sale. And I'll give you a real good deal on it too, because um, I need some room, people. <laughs> I got too many. I got so many canvases, it's unreal. So this week I'm gonna be finishing uh, a lot of them because I have them there, oh, you can't see that, the, the sun is glaring, but I've uh, sort of hung them up all over the place. Okay, I'll put this on YouTube real fast. So thank you all for watching and I'm gonna be making two or three videos today. So don't worry, when you go to bed tonight, you can watch me before you fall asleep. And have good dreams. Okay? Okay. Bye-bye.